on my own, don't need nobody, yo. Share your mind when I change my life, better stop believing. Although the butterfly and the caterpillar are completely different, they are one and the same. What's poppy YouTube? It's your girl Kona Lay back with another video. Y'all already know what's going on. So basically, um, I'm about to react to what happened to every WWE Diva Search winner. Uh, this is not my video. This person channel will be down below. I just want to react to different stuff this month in honor of uh I don't do vlogmas, so basically I'm gonna do uh redo a lot of videos so this person channel will be down below. You should follow them, subscribe to their channel, do all of that. You know what I'm saying? This is what happens to every WWE Diva Search winner. So when I saw this, I wanted to know because I was curious. Because I wanted to know, like, some of these people I forgot about, but some of these people I do still, you know, like, they ring a bell. But that being said, like, come subscribe, hit that notification bell. Comment down below what you want me to react next. But this is what happens to every Diva Search winner. Let's get into it. If you were watching wrestling in the mid-2000s, chances are you remember the Diva Search. Similar to Tough Enough, women from various backgrounds apply- Yeah, I do remember the Diva Search a little bit, mid-2000s, yeah. But that's around the time, like, some stuff you didn't really know. I started watching wrestling, like, WWE when I was, like, five, like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I remember it a little bit, not all the way. And a WWE see. contract. Thousands of hopefuls tried out, but only a handful are fortunate enough to win. With it being over a decade and a half since the Diva Search began, let's find out what happened to every winner and see where they are today. 2003, Jamie Copey. If that name doesn't Jamie. sound familiar, it's because the first Diva Search didn't air on TV. Jamie. Over 500 women I entered the Jamie, competition and voting was held hard. online. Four finalists were flown to Phoenix, Arizona during SummerSlam weekend, and but I wasn't it was watching Vancouver WWE native Jamie Copey so. who was declared the winner. While she oh. didn't receive a contract or a cash Randall. prize, the 25-year-old did get a photo shoot in the Raw magazine. Funny enough, Copey would actually retire from modeling about two years after winning the Diva Search, although she continues to model part-time. Outside of modeling, Copey did a bit of acting, so she, but she's mainly focused on being a personal but, trainer in her home country of Canada. Huh? where she still is today. 2004, Christy Hemi. WWE kicked things up a notch with the second Diva Search by having the contestants compete in weekly segments don't mind on me Raw. This resulted in thousands because, of women you know applying, but the eventual I'm winner was Poway, California native Christy Hemi. Videos, in addition to winning a quarter I, of a million saying, dollars, Hemi also received a one-year contract with WWE. Like, Ironically, she would spend about a year on the main roster before being sent to OVW, WWE's development system, in November 2005. However, only a few weeks WWE after the move, Hemi would be released from the company, but she did say it was on her terms. The 2004 Diva Search winner wouldn't be away from wrestling for too long as she joined TNA Wrestling in April 2006. During her first three years in the company, Christy Hemi would be both an in-ring competitor impact. and an oh, on-screen host. In late 2009, Hemi officially announced her retirement from wrestling and would be focusing on her role as a backstage interviewer and eventually re-announcer. After spending almost exactly 10 years in TNA, Christy announced her departure from the company in 2016. Since then, Hemi's career has quieted down as she is a mother of five children. More recently, however, in March of 2020, Christy Hemi, along with Gail oh, Kim and Lita, announced a new really wrestling show that. called Kayfabe. Kayfabe. The I project, unfortunately, didn't reach its Kickstarter goal, and there hasn't been any new sets. It doesn't help either that there's a global I hope pandemic. they do, do it, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, I hope they do this, because I actually loved it, the um, preview to it. It was really good. I ain't gonna lie. on too. 2005, uh, Ashley Massaro. Ashley, I know Ashley. After winning the Diva Surge, That's crazy. I, I told y'all that I know about Ashley. Like, that was 2005. So that was around the time I got into wrestling. I was like four or five. Yeah. I wasn't, I don't know about them other two women because they was like 2003. But Ashley, rest in peace to Ashley, but I do. Immediately went to work. She spent the next three years in WWE, and while she never won the women's championship, Ashley did go on to become one of the top female stars at the time, even competing at two WrestleManias. In July of 2008, Masaru left the company after requesting Ashley a release though, so that she could you be with her sick daughter. On not tight. only did Ashley leave WWE, but she also retired from the entire wrestling business, 
with the exception of a brief stint in 2017 with Zero One Professional Wrestling. The Diva Search winner would focus on her modeling career, and in 2018, she became a DJ for the Long Island radio so station sad. WWSX. Tragically, Ashley passed away on May 16, 2019, just 10 days before her 40th birthday. So she passed away Reports two days cited suicide birthday, as the bro. reason for Masaro's passing, but no official cause of death was reported. 2006, mm, Layla. Are oh, Layla having the most successful career of Layla all the Diva Search winners? Layla competed round. in WWE for roughly nine back. years. During that time, she, she captured no, the Diva's title, had a memorable tag Layla. team run with Michelle McCool, and was also the final woman <laughs> yeah, to hold the women's when they championship. The title they had, she left um, WWE in July 2015, and at the same time, retired from wrestling. Shortly after that, Layla announced her engagement Boy, to yeah, fellow wrestler cute. Ricky Ortiz, and the couple got married in late 2015. Yeah, After cute. hanging up her boots, Layla began Ooh, working as a real estate man. agent for a company called <laughs> Keller Williams. While she has stepped away from the wrestling world, Layla still engages with fans by doing meet and greets and autograph signings. 2007, Eve Torres. Eve. Despite her career starting like out slow, Eve like would go on to become one of the faces of WWE's women's division in the early body, 2010s. Body, yaddy, yaddy, she became yaddy, the first yaddy, woman yaddy. to hold the Divas Championship three times and was involved in some major storylines during her career. <laughs> Torres left WWE in early 2013, and like other Divas Search winners, she also retired from wrestling. After her departure, Eve got married to Brazilian- Listen, 2013? I was 13, and that was like seven years ago. Bro, time flies, bro. I kind of miss it too, man. I ain't gonna lie, but... Jiu-Jitsu hey. practitioner, Renner Gracie, so and the couple also too. has she two sons together. Really Post-wrestling, Torres has become an instructor at the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Academy and leads their Women Empowered Self-Defense Program. Um, Additionally, so the Diva Search winner has also gotten into acting, appearing in films such as Scorpion King and TV shows like Supergirl. If that she wasn't was enough, Eve Torres also started her own party okay, rental business Eve. with her sister-in-law called Enjoy Eve, the Party. Honey. While she's certainly staying busy, the former Divas champion still finds time to she's pop so up in WWE, though, really. most recently appearing during the pre-show panel at Evolution in 2018. 2013, Eva Marie. After a six-year oh, hiatus, the Diva no, search returned, but everything. like its first incarnation, the 2013 event was not televised. A number of future WWE stars competed in the contest, including like, Alexa Bliss, like Lana, and JoJo, but the uh, ultimate winner was Eva Marie. The red-haired diva would spend roughly three years I mean, in WWE and didn't exactly she have a five-star run in the company. Marie made her last in? appearance in August 2016, but wouldn't announce her departure from WWE till August 2017. Since then, Eva has pursued acting, appearing in a handful of movies and TV shows, including being a cast member on Celebrity Big Brother. In 2018, but Marie started a podcast with her husband. Wait, I ain't gonna lie about Eva. Get your hustle on, girl. Get your hustle on. That girl, like, stop. Like, she kept herself up. Like, and called the Natalie Eva hustle Marie on. Show on Podcast One. Additionally, the former WWE star has also been a brand ambassador for Rain Energy Drinks and the fitness and fashion See, brand Rider Wear. In October of 2020, it. it was reported that Eva Marie is set to make a return to WWE. While she hasn't made her comeback yet, She's gonna sources return? did confirm that Eva Marie has signed with WWE, so it's likely only a matter of time. Thank she you signed? to Angry Child for watching and commenting on our last video. What? Uh-uh. What? <laughs> all right y'all so basically that was the end of that video it said what happened to every wwe search winner honestly i was curious to know what happened to them for real because i'm just like look you know what i'm saying i remember the deep search briefly some of these women you know what i'm saying the the two the first two women i did not know because it said 2003 2004 and i think i was telling the truth when i said i started watching wrestling in 2005 because actually i remember that because all my cousin used to be in the house and we used to be on the couch watching friday night smackdown and i remember actually and she used to be in that game too that we used to play you, you know what i'm saying i remember every other woman you know ashley layla eve Eva Marie. I remember them. For sure, for sure. That being said, like, comment, subscribe, comment down below. And one more thing, Eva Marie, she supposed to be coming back to WWE. I heard something about that briefly, but you know what I'm saying? And she could be coming back, you know, because she said that she might. But that being said, I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of this video, and I'm out. Peace.